on trick. Okay. So, um, you can see that all these are zoned as if, you see there's no PD. A lot of these are PD zones. Um, so what I did is I went to the attribute table for the main zoning shape file to add. You see here I had plan development, plan development, short. And that's it. Um, I'm going to make a video when I'm getting closer to be done with this to show you how to use this area here to add and subtract, or depends on whatever you want to do. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna be extracting plan developments that have a one with their corresponding underlying abbreviated district. So it would be something like this. Why is SQL on all them? Christ, I don't want it on. There we go. So you'd see plan development is equal to one which means there is plan development, add a clause, and the abbreviated district is, that will be these. So let's say R7. Yeah, you can make it that way. And then you can hit check, I think, here. It's valid. If you try to pine, it might select some shape files. Select the two. See, these are R7s that are, yeah, these are gonna be overlaid as a district. Um, but this is essentially just a logical expression of the attributes, right? Um, to create them into shape files, um, I'll practice doing an efficient way to do that, but you can see how and what I, what I mean now. So, good luck, man.